victim of a surgical crime A little dark fader, a little optimist prime You used to be okay and I like you that way But I don't think that I like you better No, I don't think that I like you better Hey everybody, John Fassmeyer here, 3D Modeling MFA Candidate at Academy of Art University. Uh, if you've you know, read my channel page or checked out any of my previous videos here, you know I'm working on my thesis. Um, and every once in a while I like, when I, when I learn something new about um, the programs I'm working with, Zebra, mainly ZBrush and Maya, um, I like to maybe do a little tutorial to, to show because I think it would be useful for other modelers. So that's what I'm doing here. Uh, if you're wondering about my thesis, you know, as I said, you can check out the main channel page, previous videos, or my blog, and I'll post a link to that in the, uh, in the area below. So right here what I want to show is these uh, great tools I learned on Monday that I'm finding very handy. So here's my main character. I'm going to go into here where you can see all these sub-tools on him. Now, so this is, this is for ZBrush, and I'm going to show um, four little tools here that are here on the on this right bar, the transparency, dusting, uh, solo, and expose. So, as you can see here, I have all these sub-tools. The main mesh is the main character, and then there's all these other parts to him. Um, without going into too much detail on that, I guess, let's, let's get to the heart of, of what I'm going to show here. Um, I'll start with solo, since I think that makes sense. So here we are on the main mesh. If I click on solo, you see only that main mesh. It basically just, um, it doesn't even deselect everything on here, it just um, it only shows whichever one you're on. And that's kind of handy if you just want to kind of hide everything and focus uh, with what you're working on immediately without having to go in and turn everything off here. So that's the solo button, it's right here. I have everything back. Uh, another thing you can do is uh, say you want to uh, work on the main mesh or some other uh, mesh and you don't want to um, have everything else off. You want it to still be visible but you want to see as much of your main mesh as you can. You can turn on transparency and this mode does exactly what you're seeing here. You can actually uh, see through it to what's underneath. So if I is that going to let me do anything? Huh. Okay, it's just very on a very low intensity. I am thinking about it. Okay, so if I if I raise, I can raise the skin here, and I raise it to a level that's actually going over these things. But you know, you can see you can see what's going on even if it's at a low low level here. You can see what's underneath there, you can see what's coming through, so. Um, but I think it even looks better when you use ghosting. And that gives this ghostly look to everything that is not the selected model. So it turns uh, whitish like that and you can see very clearly what's going on underneath. Um, so for instance, on this main mesh, I actually have all these layers for wounds. If I go to this chest wound thing, I've already, that's something I've already dug in and, and uh, is I'm going to do a lot more work on, but you can see it right through these, whereas if I didn't have transparency on or ghosting on, you wouldn't. So, Alright, and so the next thing I want to show, the final thing for this tutorial, is the last thing down here is um, expose. I think expose is pretty cool. So, um, you know, when you're working on your mesh, this basically what this is doing is it's giving, just giving uh, ways to work with it, and you know, some options for what you're seeing with the sub tools and and how they are interfacing with the main mesh. If like you know, if you want to work with them um, right on the mesh, but be able to see everything you're doing on the mesh, you can do this transparency and or ghosting. Um, or you can do solo if you don't want to see them. Um, or 
yeah, this is kind of cool. You can just kind of scoot everything out of the way with Expose. Hit that, everything moves to a different place, moves away from each other. And then I could actually go in and work on work on uh, him. I could work on uh, let's see, why isn't it showing? There it is. The eyes, or you know, any of these parts. I can work on anything uh, separately out where they are, and then bring everything uh, back together by hitting expose again. So I hope you found that interesting, uh, and if you're a modeler using ZBrush, hope those help you out. I think they're pretty cool new tools, and I, uh, I'm looking forward to using them myself.